Welcome back to another Fun Fix Friday. My name is Derek, and today we're going to be doing something very simple. It's replacing the back on an iPhone 15. We're going to take a deep dive into some of the components, so let's get into the video. Not only is the back broken on this phone, and in quite a severe way, but the front is also cracked. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see a glass only repair. When Apple released the iPhone 14 and 14 Plus, the back was replaceable, but it came with an issue where a chip on the flash flex was coded so that there were issues with things like taking a photo with flash as it wouldn't save the photo or even Apple Pay if you replaced the flash flex cable. Let's take a look at that on the iPhone 15, as well as just showing you the way I do it. Let's get started. Now there are a bunch of different ways to remove the back glass. You could use a suction cup with pry tools, or you could upgrade suction cups to using something like this. This is the iSlack Evo. You could use something like this, a split screen tools from TBK. This works really good for the iPhone 12 series because of the bezel separation with heat. Or you could use similar machines to this TBK to heat up and remove it. Let's remove the two panel up screws. For this repair, I'm gonna opt to use the TBK machine. All right, due to the matte finish that these glass have, using some type of packing tape or something to help with suction isn't really the case. That's why having a constant vacuum on it is good because you're gonna be losing suction with the cracks in here, but this should be sufficient in order to lift it. So we're gonna slide this on in there, spin these, clamp it down, make sure it's pushed all the way back. We'll start at the vacuum, lower this on down, and I'm gonna be using some isopropyl alcohol here to help lift it. Put it down all along the border, getting that gap. Just like that. And we'll start to lift. By twisting up here, you can see some separation starting to have here. I'm doing a little bit of help here with the pry tool, and with the assistance of a little bit of a pry tool and some more isopropyl alcohol. All right, let's take it out and see if we can work with that. All right, so it looks like this bottom section just wants to come off. Okay, and we just have to be mindful of the flex cable. It's right there, but we'll lift, and there's a little bit of we'll be able to get at least the majority of the back glass off. All right, be mindful not to touch the cameras. You can even cover them if you want. Next, we'll grab our tri-wing screw driver and let's take out the screw and bracket to hold down the flash flex here. All right, now that the screw is out, we'll just gently push that back a little. That'll unlock it and then it'll slide out. It's got two locking mechanisms where it locks into the back and the front. And then we'll disconnect the flex cable here. And now let's talk about the differences. So on the 14, 14 plus, the IC is right here exposed. It's still there, it's just now on the other side of the flex. Let me show you under a microscope what we're talking about. At 30 minutes repair, says great video. I agree, it's not that difficult to swap the chip. Apple changed the position of the chip for the iPhone 15. It's now touching the glass. Less protected in my opinion. If the flex gets damaged, there is no problem. If the chip fails, only Apple can fix it. And although most of that is correct, at least we're out of the water for when it comes to swapping it with an original. All right, so taking a look here, we've got the back of the phone. If we carefully pry under this flex cable here, there's some adhesive that kind of wraps around in a U shape and the uh, chip is about the same thickness as the metal shield that surrounds it. There it is, right there. You can make out that it says 3304. And one of the things that you might tell as well is there's underfill surrounding this chip, completely making it different from the iPhone 14 14 Plus. So not only is it on the back side, but it's got underfill, making this a really awkward one, which I'm glad in that case we don't have to transfer it over or transfer the entire flex over and and this whole unit is something you can transfer over by taking off the screw the brackets and everything carefully heating it up 
carefully peeling up this entire sticker so that you don't mess with this and can transfer it over. But as long as they are original, there is no need to worry about the IC. So this is an original pole. It's got all the brackets and screws, everything's ready to go, minus the adhesive. Let's connect this up to the phone and see if it gives us any notifications or issues. All right, so in the settings, it has no notifications. And the reason for that is because this is an original IC. It doesn't have to be the exact one that was paired. Now, if you obviously are getting an aftermarket one, you will want to transfer over the flash flex. And you won't want to mess with the IC, as you've seen under the microscope. It's possible to move over. It's even less practical than the iPhone 14 and 14 Plus. So now we're just going to remove all of the glass shards from around the border. And I'm also going to extract all of the old adhesive. Now there are a couple ways to do this, but I like to use this guy. You just turn it on. You can see it just grabs. This adhesive tends to just break when you try to peel it off. It just breaks out into pieces. Sometimes you get lucky and it'll kind of like pull, but most of the time it just just breaks. See how clean it's leaving this area, moving it back and forth. Now I'm gonna get a pump bottle with some acetone. You can also use uh, isopropyl alcohol. You just need to be careful if you're going to use acetone, even though it cleans super well, so much better than isopropyl alcohol, that you don't mess with any of the plastics and get anything on it. it works really good for glass, really good for metal, cleaning so much faster and so much better than just like an isopropyl alcohol but uh, it will dry out your hands quicker than alcohol will. And it'll also melt some a good portion of plastics. So you do wanna be careful with it. But we're just gonna clean this up really well. And when I have the whole frame looking that good, we'll be back. All right, so we're looking really good now. We're gonna get out our new adhesive. We'll peel away the blue protector, line it on up and carefully lay it in the frame till it's in there perfectly. And then we're gonna take our spudger. We're gonna go around and really push down that adhesive into the frame, making sure it's making solid contact all the way around. We'll peel up the pink one, we'll connect up the back. Now I do have to look at this frame. There's a little bit of a bend in some of these brackets, so I'm gonna have to bend those back. So let's connect this up. That's gonna look great when it's done. But I wanted to show you something that I noticed. Looks like there's an issue with this display, which I won't be able to fix. So I won't really be able to do the glass on this one because even though it came on and it looked okay, there's actually a little bit of display damage right there. It's hard to see for at first, but there is a little bit of display damage there and the display were affected by the impact down here. That's unfortunate. So I'm not gonna close this all the way back up because I'm gonna leave the battery disconnected and do the screen. That being said, let me know, still let me know if you want me to do a glass only on a Series 15. All right, still have to close it up because we still have to replace the screen, but hopefully that gives you a good idea of how simple it is to replace the back glass. So as long as it's original, it's all good. A little bit of finesse goes into swapping over the entire assembly. It's a lot easier. If there's something that you'd like to see in a future video, let me know in the comments below. Thanks a ton for watching, and we'll see you next week for some more videos.